If you want to update your face packs, logos, kits in Football Manager 2026, I'm going to show you how. The first thing you're going to need to do is find somewhere where you can download those face packs from. You could go to site websites like Sort Out SI, FM Scout, TCM Logos. There are plenty of them out there. These are the ones that I am going to use this year. In fact, I'm going to be using the Cutout Player Faces pack from sort out si it's quite a large file this one there are certainly smaller ones you could go to fm scout they have a whole load as well and tcm logos has all the logos for all the teams and competitions once you've found the file that you want you're going to want to download it so in this case i'm going to come down here and click the download button be careful what download buttons you click make sure you find the right one and it's not some dodgy advert once you've done that you're going to want to come into the download folder on your computer find the pack that you're looking for right click on it and then you are going to choose to extract all. You can extract it into the folder right there in the downloads, or you can move it to the folder I'm gonna show you in a second, but you wanna extract the whole file there, and it's gonna put all those logos in the one folder for you. Once you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to copy or cut that folder, and you wanna go, wanna go and paste it over in your Football Manager 2026 folder. So you're gonna look for your sports interactive folder in your documents, and then you're gonna come down to FM26, and then if it doesn't exist already, you're going to right click, you're going to create new folder and you're going to call it graphics. If it does already exist, you're going to go ahead, you're going to create a folder called faces or logos or whichever one of these is. And you're going to paste it in there. In this case, I have downloaded all the logos, so I'm going to paste them in this folder here. So depending on the file size, it might take a few minutes to complete. As you can see here, it's just working through mine. It's going to take me about 11 minutes to move the gigabyte, uh, two gigabytes, uh, three, nearly three gigabytes across to the logo pack folder. You should then be left with your sports interactive fm26 graphics folder looking like this faces kits logos that should be all you need maybe if you want to add something else like backgrounds you can try those out I, we don't know if they work in this year's game yet all you got to do then is go ahead and load up the game so you will see now i'm in the game if i come look at some of the clubs that are not normally licensed that wouldn't normally have the badges i have barcelona there the la liga badge is showing at the top here you can see we've got real madrid we've got atletico madrid all these teams, Deportivo, Atletico Pamplona. So I haven't installed a real name fix or anything yet, but it has put all the badges and the faces of the players into the game. So here's an example, Laminia Mal. I need to get a more up-to-date picture of him, but there he is at Barcelona in the game. So that's all you need to do if you want to install faces, logos, and kits in Football Manager 2026. You don't have to reload the cache this year. If you want to reload it, you've got to restart the game. But it's that easy. You just reload, restart your game and everything will appear in the game. Download it. Put it in those folders. Simple. If you haven't bought the game yet, I've got a link over at Fanatical. It'll get you a little discount. But I assume you've bought the game if you're watching this video. So I'm just going to send you across to some of my FM26 videos just over here. I'm going to have loads coming out over the next few days. Loads of little tutorials and bits coming out. So make sure you check out some of these. Ciao, ciao.